So this is the aftermath from last night. It's really the aftermath from this whole week, man. So first and foremost, I want to talk about Chris Colbert getting knocked out by Jose Valenzuela. Now listen, in a first fight, I actually had Valenzuela winning anyway, even though he lost the first fight. I actually had him winning, which is why I predicted that he was going to win this fight. And I also said that he was going to knock him out as well. And I'm saying that because in the first fight, Colbert's chin was weak. He got knocked down in the first round, I think. So I predicted the same thing that happened. I said he's going to hit him again with a hard shot. And it seems like Colbert ain't got no chin. So it seems like he's not going to be able to take it. And also, Chris Colbert owes Valenzuela fifty thousand dollars because they had a bet. We yeah, right now. Put fifty thousand on it. Yeah, it when you want to, man. Oh, he deleted his fifty thousand right scared. now. Let's do it. Woo. Woo. Shake on it. Come on, knock me out. Fifty thousand. Yeah, believe that. Yeah, believe that. That's it. Please. Moving on. Carissa Shields and Alicia Baumgartner. If you haven't been keeping up what's going on with these girls, I did a video about them. They talking about fighting now. Alicia Baumgartner called her out. She want to fight her. I see no confidence. I don't even feel that. Say it again. Carissa Shields, she went live with a live audio on Twitter, and this is what she said. Why is why am I going to fight you up on your terms? If Alicia Baumgartner wants to fight me and fight me, and it's nothing to gain weight, she just top dog, she's so strong, she's so skilled. Well, bring your little ass to 160. Fight the champion at 147. Huh? Call out Katie. Now listen, I gotta agree with Clarissa Shields. I feel her on that. The only thing that I don't feel is the fact that she did say she would fight Alicia Baumgartner at 147, but now she's saying Alicia Baumgartner gotta come up to 160. But at the same time, you can't really blame her because Alicia Baumgartner is the one that's calling her out. So if Alicia Baumgartner want to fight her, then yeah, she needs to go up to 160 and fight her, like Clarissa Shield said. Listen, it's no different than Canelo saying, I'm not going to go down to 147 or I'm not going to do no catch weight to fight Crawford. If he want to fight me, he got to come up here. If Jamel Charlo want to fight me, he got to come up here. It's no different. Moving along. Then we got David Morrell. He actually knocked out his opponent as well. This is something that I had already predicted as well. But he also called out David Benavidez after he fought. I think he still should wait a little bit more. Don't try to call out David Benavidez now because David Benavidez is really not going to go back and fight him until he get his job done on what he's trying to do with Canelo. So I think that uh, David Morrell is going to have to wait. going to have to wait it out. going to have to wait in line like everybody else. And that's the same thing for Jose Valenzuela. When after he won uh, with Chris Cobra, he tried to call out Tank Davis. And it's like, bro, you got a lot more to do. Tank Davis ain't finna go. He ain't gonna backtrack and go fight you. Because nobody wanna see him fight Valenzuela. They'll actually criticize him if he go back and fight Valenzuela. So, continue getting these wins. And when his time come, it'll come. Moving right along. And then you got Tank Davis and Devin Haney. Now, it's been reported that Tank Davis turned down $20 million. Really? But who was it $20 million from? Oh, yeah, that's right. Bill Haney and Eddie Hearn. Get the f*** out of here, man. That's why he turned it down. Had nothing to do with him trying to duck Devin Haney. You guys have to understand something. He's with PBC. You can't get mad at him for saying, no, I'm going to stay with my company. Because guess what? Eddie Hearn not offering him $20 million to go fight on PBC. You best believe that. It's not going to go like this. Hey, Tank, guess what? We got $20 million for you. You can still fight on PBC, but I got my offer you $20 million. It don't work like that. He's going to tell him, you're going to have to come over here to the zone. That fight going to have to be over here on the zone. Tank Davis saying no. I'm with PBC and Amazon Prime. My first fight back going to be with Amazon Prime. What kind of crap would that be if his first fight back would be on the zone? Come on now. Use your heads. It ain't got nothing to do with him ducking Devin Haney. Ain't nobody ducking Devin Haney. Absolutely not. Tank Davis made an educated business decision. Nobody is ducking Devin Haney. 